Yeah, guys, when the Jackie Robinson West Little League team last month had their title stripped, their USA championship, Pirate star Andrew McCutcheon wrote a column for the Players' Tribune talking about how tough it is for financially challenged kids in America not only to play baseball, but to get noticed playing baseball. He has a lot of interesting thoughts about that and says that you know, the elite travel teams are very expensive, as is the equipment. Just to get a bat, you know, you're spending $200, $300 just for that, and gloves and cleats and all that are just so expensive. And, um, you know, the game itself um, definitely has changed because, you know, I mean, like, that's just the world itself has changed. McCutcheon envied Latin American players when he was growing up. When they show talent at a young age, they get sponsored and money is not an issue. But poorer American baseball players who can't afford expensive equipment and travel often give up the game and opt to go to college scholarships for football or basketball. The result, fewer and fewer kids of all races from lower income families playing baseball. Well, you yourself can't help every kid out there that doesn't have the money to play, and you're very charitable with your time. We've documented your work with Habitat for Humanity at home and everything. Is, is there anything in the works? Have you thought about anything you might be able to do to, to help some kids uh, get a few extra bucks to play travel baseball? Well, oh, yeah. Um, you know, you got the players union, and, and all of us around MLB will be coming together. Um, there'll be some things we'll be working on. So, uh, yeah, I look forward to us just being able to try and help in any way that we can. The Pirates have Korean players, Latin American players, guys who have played in Australia, but other numbers are small. Andrew, reading your article, I uh, was astounded. It's something that had not struck me at all when you mentioned that you and Josh Harrison are the only two black American players on the team. Well, I mean, yes, yeah, that's, that's the way that it is. Uh, uh, yeah, there's no. There's really nothing that you can get around on it, but that's, the, that's, that's the, what's going on right now in, in baseball. Kind of ironic, isn't it, that the franchise that fielded the first all-black nine-player team now only has two guys on their entire playing roster. For more of that uh, article, and I think you'll like it, some thought-provoking ideas, go to thePlayersTribune.com. Live at Pirate City in Bradenton, I'm Guy Junker for Pittsburgh's Action Sports.